Yeah, the skin test and the blood test are both very accurate when you have a negative test. So in other words, if you have a skin test or blood test that says you're not allergic to a food, then that's about 98 to 99% accurate. A positive test, on the other hand, is very different. A positive test is actually accurate only about 50% of the time for food allergies. So that is the reason that we actually try to only do allergy testing for someone who actually has a history suggestive of the food. If you go to the doctor and they tell you, we're gonna test you for 50 different foods that you've never even mentioned before that are a problem, you need to be wary because a lot of things may come up positive, but it doesn't mean that you're allergic to it. Just because in the, by the nature of the test, a lot of things often will come up positive that are not gonna actually pose a, at all a problem to your immune system or to causing an allergic response. But if you go to the doctor and you say, I'm concerned of this particular food, this may have been an allergen in the past, you're tested and you're negative to both, on both tests, at that point, you should be comfortable trying to eat, eat this food again in the future.